Hello and welcome to Beautifying Life and Creativity. I am Chrissy Mee and I have recently been invited to attend a wedding. So I ask myself, what is the first thing that comes into my mind when I think of a wedding? And by surprise or not, for me the first thing was the non-color white. Yes, not passion, not love, not family or uh, not even party. White. Well, this is not such much, so much a surprise because I'm a passionate of colors in general. So I decided to enter deeply in the idea of white and to discover if there is something more about white, something deeper. And now I want to share these ideas with you today. So, what is it with this white? You can work with white like with a trustful tool. You can make white your ally. First of all, white is considered to be a non-color because it reflects all wavelengths from the visible spectrum. So it reflects all colors, keeps nothing, gives back everything. So this is no wonder that white has uh, got so many meanings and so many symbols surrounding it. It's like uh, varying from purity and wisdom and innocence to cleanliness and uh, to a very happy state. But at the same time, it goes to uh, the idea of mourning and burial, which is very common in some cultures in Asia and Africa and also it uh, goes to the idea of maternity or initiation so white is so many meanings in one non-color and white practically always is something so unreachable and desirable for people it's like a thing that you think you almost got it but then you realize that you did, uh, didn't understand anything about it. White is either the beginning or the end or both of them at the same time. And it's just like in a fantasy where paradox and contradictions are both present and both sides of any story are included. And it depends only on us to choose which one we want to bring up to the light. Also, from a psychological point of view, white disarm people. Yes, do you remember the white flag has been used since ages to be the surrender flag? And let's not forget about the absolute symbol of peace and harmony, which is also a white dove. Not at all by coincidence. It could be a little staggering to watch just white. Imagine and remember that generally in nature we don't find great amounts of pure white or very pure shades of white. There are really little places where we can find that. Only um, in the great uh, lands of snow and ice, maybe only there. And generally the so-called whites in nature are combined with other hints of other shades. So this could be a real good indication about what is the meaning of white for a practical use. Because just like always, I'm saying that nature is an extremely good guide for us. And as usual, I'm always advising people and everybody I come in contact with to use colors in a conscious way. I mean, even in the very small details or in the so um, apparently unimportant details, well, I'm always saying use colors, if you know what they mean, with uh, an exact purpose and thus you can give meaning to everything and it doesn't matter if apparently is something big or something small. Well, white has a very powerful message. But what is this message? 
let's imagine that we are in a snow place full of snow or in a fully white room what do we feel then what's the message we receive it's something about coldness and this is not just because we associate it in our mind with snow or with ice no it's a coldness it's an inner emotion of coldness and of distance a large amount of white can give us the feeling of loneliness and confusion complete confusion and need for guidance even if you could feel sometimes discouraged by so much white actually i think that white needs a direction and expects us to fill it with our purpose through other colors or through shapes and dosage of uh, the white itself it doesn't matter through whatever you want to fill it because white actually opens for creativity consider white like a raw material like the most basic raw material that you ever got if you think of white like this you will give so many uses to this non-color and uh, you will see that white will develop itself in so many structures physically and in everything surrounding you and even psychologically because white if you think of it more deeply you will see that brings to light some of your uh, more hidden ideas or some of the meanings that you hold somewhere inside of you but you are not aware of them sometimes you can communicate with white just a neutral state of mind or of attitude but this is just in a very few cases and some other times you could see that you have a rejection toward white that you might not understand exactly but it could be one reason that uh, you are afraid of getting dirty of uh, adding stains to this white this is in direct connection with some more inner emotions that you can explore but the real power of white that one that I want to enhance here we could say the one biggest secret that you have to remember forever about white is the use of white in small amounts yes this is where the power of white resides actually small insertions of white change worlds yes literally white in the right amounts in the right places has the power to change worlds and meanings and everything that you want to change our non-color of the day enhances other colors it makes them stronger when it's put aside just test it put white next to a red or a green or whatever other color you want to test with and you will see that this color will become stronger in its message in its lightness practically it is brighter and it can communicate more and better if it has a side a bit of white and uh, this is a way to avoid uh, using a lighter shade so you can use the shade of your liking and of uh, your choosing and make it brighter with a bit of white at the same time white diminishes the mixture of more colors if you put white uh, next to a combination of more colors the effect will be that of taming them if you want to use a lot of colors all together and you're afraid that this combination is too much or too dangerous to use it that's such 
Just take a bit of white and put it or between the colors or next to this combination. You just play with it and find it the right place and the right amount and you see that no combination of colors will be too much. If you want to get inspired about this, just Google the works of the painter Pierre Mondrian, who is famous for juggling with amounts of white in various compositions in order to obtain some very specific effects. As an artist, or as any type of creator or just as a person who is truly concerned of delivering a real and specific message well you just can't ignore white don't forget that artists need just three colors red blue yellow and black and of course white to create and recreate almost every shade and nuance that they need in any work. So that is how vital white is for all of us. Uh, just let's make an imagination test and uh, let's imagine that we go on a crowded street or that we are in our room and let's see with our mind how white disappears from every little place it is from the entire place we are what would happen then how would you feel everything will feel heavy and uh, like a brick pressure and everything will scream bring us white back so yes, you absolutely cannot ignore white. I like to surround myself with white or to wear just a little bit of white when I need to feel brighter or when I need to feel more light in my life, even if uh, outside the weather is nice and I still don't feel that I have enough light. A little bit of white always makes you feel better, but just a little bit. And except the situations when you are in a desert or in a very, very hot place, or except the situation when you are a bride, well, I never advise anybody to wear completely white or to stay in a completely white space. So, start playing with various amounts of white to enhance your life. That's it for today. Give a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me a comment below to share what uh, discoveries you made about playing with white. And subscribe to Chrissy Me channel if you haven't done this already. Thanks for watching and always remember to beautify your life and your soul. Bye! God damn it.